Hi, Daniel here to give you an update on the contest and to answer some of your questions. You gave me some interesting ones and some disturbing ones. It's been fun to read what interests you. I'll answer some questions here on the video, but keep checking on Facebook as well as the Twilight on the Olympic Peninsula website and Reality Twilight on Twitter for more answers. As you probably know, the prize is a trip for four people for six nights on the Olympic Peninsula. We feel grateful to the sponsors who can help give you an opportunity to visit. You'll get to fly on Alaska Airlines to Seattle to start your adventure. When you get to Forks, you'll be welcomed aboard a tour van to visit some of the great locations mentioned in Stephanie Meyer's books. You never know who may show up to tag along for a beach fire, hot dogs, and sunset over the Pacific Ocean. You could take a tour of the Logging Museum, too. It's right next door to the Visitor Information Center. A stop at Forks Outfitters will give you a chance to use your gift certificates from them. They have lots of souvenirs to help remember your visit. You will also get an opportunity to stop at the Native to Twilight store in Forks. In Port Angeles, you'll get to have lunch at Renaissance Cafe. They have ooey gooey toasted cheese sandwiches and organic tomato soup, plus a tasty, I'm told, selection of local wines and ciders. There's a fantastic view of the Port Angeles Harbor from the deck. On a clear day, you can see Vancouver Island, Canada, and Mount Baker on the other side of the Puget Sound. Now let's get to some questions. One question says, Has the trip to Forks lost its luster for Twilight fans? Of course not. There's always more to do and see in Forks and on the Olympic Peninsula than there's time for. As told by another comment, My daughter, daughter-in-law, and myself have visited Forks for Stephanie Meyer Day for the past two years and have enjoyed every minute of it. For those of you not in the know, Stephanie Meyer Day this year is September 13th through the 15th. It's a long day. There are lots of questions. Amanda from Kentucky is a photographer and loves animals. She asks, what is the perfect place around Forks to get pictures of the native wildlife and the natural habitats? Of course, there are lots of birds everywhere. You're likely to find eagles alongside Highway 112 and in Nia Bay. In Forks itself, elk often graze near the airport across from the Visitor's Information Center. Now, you can find deer everywhere, and of course our slugs pose for long photo sessions. Lisa in California asks, Are there any real native werewolves and vampires and fables and history that derive from Forks? Not that I'm aware of. Shannon, do you have pesky mosquitoes where you live in Texas? She wanted to know if I had problems with mosquitoes out here. Uh, no, I'm cold-blooded. Mosquitoes like warm blood. Rachel in New South Wales. Well, thank you for the question, even though the contest is only valid in the United States and Canada. Uh, Rachel asked if I'm best friends with Edward Cullen. No, we're, we're not best friends. I have other people to hang out with, too. Brett in Alabama. I've lived in Forks since around the time the city of Forks was incorporated, 1945. Many of you seem particularly interested in my age. Melissa from Virginia, Felicia from Florida, Katie from Arizona, Monica from Oregon. Don't let my looks fool you. I'm very, very old. Veronica from Colorado asked if I wanted to be featured in her book and meet wickedly fun older women. All I can say to that is, cougars? Yum. And old has no meaning for me. I look forward to your book. We read a lot here. Many of you seem to think I should be part of the Vampire Psychic Hotline, but I assure you I'm not. Uh, Cheryl from Ontario. I can't predict if you'll get pregnant this year, but I wish you and your husband good luck. Many of these questions should really be asked of Alice. I, I was never born with her powers. Barbara from North Carolina, I'm sorry for your loss. I, I hope you'll be able to visit here sometime soon. And many of you have asked to become one of us. Janine in Florida and Jackie in Palm Springs. I'm sorry, but that's just not going to be possible. Kenya from Washington, just a blessing wouldn't cut it. Lori from Texas asked if Forks is really as pretty in person as it was portrayed in the movies. 
Forks really is more beautiful than shown in the films. And Amanda from Florida. Remember, the movies were trying to look like here. They weren't actually filmed here. The books were set here, and that's why you'll have a feeling like you've been here before. So, Sheila from Idaho, the community wasn't involved in making the movies, but we will be involved in making your visits to Forks memorable. Lots of questions about the weather, too. Jeffrey in Wisconsin and Renee in Washington. Our high temperatures in the summer are in the 70s. And you all know about our lovely rainy times. Some of you want to know what there is to do around here. Uh, Jennifer from Tennessee wants to know if we have a zip line. No, unfortunately. But some of us do want to see one put here so mortals can experience the canopy where many of us spend a great deal of our time. Since there are so many questions about other things to do here, I'll tell you some of my favorites. Wendy from Wisconsin. Nancy in British Columbia. Laura in Michigan. My favorite hike leaves from the Solduck Hot Springs and goes to High Divide. There are some beautiful views along the way. My favorite river for rafting is probably the Ho River outside of Forks, but as the Elwha River becomes more wild with the removal of the two dams on it, I'll have to get back to you on that one. My favorite place to go kayaking is Freshwater Bay. It's always different, and there are lots of really cool critters to check out in the water, especially at low tide. There are so many beaches and rivers to explore and enjoy here that it's really hard to choose a favorite. It kind of depends on the weather and my mood. Some days I look for quiet and solitude. Other days, I want to laze around and watch people. Several people have asked if I'm happy being a vampire, or if I would turn back to being a human if I could. Tammy from Washington, Chelsea from Michigan. I am and shall continue to be a vampire. I enjoy my life here. Now that's all the time I have to answer questions at the moment. If you haven't entered the contest, enter today and encourage your Facebook friends to enter. You get extra bonus entries for every question that they ask me. The contest runs to the 28th of March and the winner shall be chosen shortly afterwards. I'll try and answer more questions on Facebook and the website and on Twitter. What do you want to know that hasn't been asked?